Yes, people, we are back. Welcome back for another video. Welcome back to another transfer update show on my channel. As always, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell notification button as well. Get your hat trick for the channel because no other Chelsea player is going to do it. We're here to discuss the same tired, drawn out saga that has been going on for months. The Mason Mount debate, well, drama. There's been no, there's been nothing to talk about the last three months. Just constantly rehashed, reworded updates of the exact same thing. Mount and Chelsea can't agree terms on a new agreement. Chelsea would love to keep him, but Mount wants to feel respected and all of that crap. We finally have an update on Mason Mount's next club. And he is leaning towards Manchester United. Manchester Minerals, Mason Mount. Proper Chelsea. Proper Chelsea. Talks are expected between the clubs in due course. Other sides have been who have been pursuing the 24 England international are aware of his preference. And apparently Eric Ten Hag wants to be the first to get Mason Mount in through the door. And he wants to be Arsenal and Liverpool to Mason Mount's signature. And I can't lie. I am looking forward to this. Ten Hag is about to run into 23-24 with a Casemiro, Mount and Fernandez midfield. I will be there no matter what. No matter what I will be there. Because I know we're not going to get close to the 80-85 million price tag <coughs> that Chelsea have put up for him. Which by the way, ludicrous. Absolutely insane. Crazy, psychopathic prediction or price tag for this player but I will not complain if you get the money I won't complain but the point still stands that is crazy I think we'll get around 50 to 60 million for him though fact is if you could get 40 million for Conor Gallagher you can get 50 to 60 million for Mason Mount so I think we end up selling him for that amount but if United want him please please take him you guys already know my stance <coughs> I've been tired of this in this long, drawn-out discourse over Mount for the longest because we know what the situation is. We know what the situation has been and people just want to pretend that it's changing. Mount has been on his way out of Chelsea since February because there's been a reason why Mount has been out of the lineups for so long. Yet, yet before February, he was starting every single match. He's not starting because he cannot agree terms with Chelsea. It's as simple as that. Yeah, he's had injuries here or there. Fair enough. There's been some misses because of injuries. There's also been so many other games where Mason Mount sat on the bench. And he's come off or he's just been left there. Fact is, Mount and the board, they cannot find an agreement. Mason Mount is leaving. And for a lot of these Chelsea fans, you need to just get over it. Because they're not. Every day I see someone crying on Twitter and then they say, Oh, but, but if we let go of Mason Mount, it's going to be such a terrible indictment on this club. It's going to look so bad on the owners. This is going to be the worst thing that the owners have ever done. Oh, we won player of the year two times in a row. Do you not remember that pass to Havertz in 2021 in the Champions League final? <laughs> shut up. All of you shut up. Because it's not 2021 anymore, it's 2023. And Mason Mount isn't a bum. Don't get it twisted. He's not an absolute 1 out of 10 bum. But he is also not a game changer. Eden, not Eden Hazard, the disrespect, I apologise Eden. Mason Mount is not the sort of guy who is going to drag this team through games. He has not been dragging us through games while we've been languishing in mid-table for most of the season. Mason Mount is not that guy. So I'm not fussed whether we keep him, whether we sell him, whatever happens. If Mason Mount was to re-sign tomorrow, I wouldn't cry about it. I'd be like, Fez, whatever. We'll see what you do on the Pochettino. My whole thing with Mason Mount is he's got one year left in the summer. He doesn't look like he's going to be signing. So what are you doing for me now? And what you are bringing for me is nothing but headaches, poor performances, and holding the club to ransom for... Money that you're probably not going to get at Manchester United either. Like, they're not going to give you around 200 to 300k a week. Maybe you push 
to 190, 180, something like that. But if you're willing to accept that money at Manchester United, but you weren't willing to accept it at Chelsea, you are a rat. You're not as proper Chelsea as everybody wanted to pretend that you have been. All you were here for was the money. Money Mace was more than just a little nickname for you. It was a lifestyle. It was a way of living. It's exactly what has been in your head since day one. And if that's the case, fine. You're a mercenary. It is what it is. You don't have to be proper Chelsea, but we're not going to run this narrative and we're not going to care about you with the same energy either. If you want to accept probably the same amount of money at United that we're going to be offering you, leave. You're not good enough. You haven't been good enough for the past 18 months. All you bring is headaches and just simps and fucking stands who vicariously live through this player and pretend that he's Mr. Chelsea, he's the face of the club, and the guy single-handedly dragging us through trophies and through um, seasons and all of that crap. He ain't that guy. You're not that guy. So go to United, go to Liverpool, go to... I don't care where you go. But if you're not going to re-sign, leave, take all your simps, take all your fangirls with you, take all the prop. And go up north and take them all with you. Because nothing has been more mind-numbing than seeing the same people cry and bitch and moan about him. People who have admitted they have biases towards Mason Mount. And take it out on other players. Like Jao Felix. Like Kai Havertz. Like players who want to still be at Chelsea. Kai Havertz is a player I absolutely despise. But you know what? One thing I will give him credit for? He wants to be here. He wants to be here. I'll give him credit for that. Even if he's shit, I'll give him credit because he wants to be here. You, you have been a fugazi. You've been fake as fuck. And hopefully the rest of the stands realise that. Hopefully they all realise that. Because, brother, you have been absolutely stinky. Absolutely stinky this season. I don't think we get 80 to 85 million for him. But if we get 50 to 60, that is fine. I don't know what happened with Chelsea. I don't know what United are offering. But I cannot imagine that it's more than us. That is one thing. One thing that I will say. So whatever happens, Mason Mount, leave. Go. Get out. I don't care. It's not that deep. I just can't wait for the day that he goes. Because so many people are going to look like a fool. So many people who wanted to defend him... And all of that said he was proper Chelsea. You guys, wait. Wait till you see him at United. Wait till you see him at another club. Kissing the badge and doing all the little passion acts that you lot have been lauding and celebrating him for doing anyway while he does nothing on the pitch. I cannot wait for that. Because you guys are going to look stupid. You lot have treated him like he's bigger than the club. Mason Mount. It's not Mason Mount FC. This is Chelsea FC. Player stands. All of you, man. Fuck off. Leave the club. And I can't wait until Mount leaves with you. I, I can't lie. I know some people will hate seeing him there. I won't care. Mason Mount in another team's shirt is just going to be a reminder to people not to value a player over the club. And as much as it might hurt some of you people, some of you people need to be hurt. Let's deep it. Some of you people need to feel this pain. Because hopefully next time an academy player comes and does well for Chelsea, <laughs> you lot don't put him on a higher pedestal than you do for the rest of the club because it's been embarrassing some of the defending i see for him even to this day is embarrassing people say oh we've been horrible to him we forced him to cover all positions and to sacrifice his own development i'm sorry what does man what do what do they do at man city man city you have bernardo silva covering all positions you have stones in dm you have the likes of De Bruyne playing deep sometimes. He will move players around everywhere. Zinchenko played how many positions there back in the day? Jesus would play centrally and play wide. Sterling would play centrally and play wide. If you're good enough to be versatile, you're good enough. Fact is, Mason Mount isn't good enough, but you all defend him like he's the second coming of Frank Lampard just because Lampard gave him his first chance. You're all embarrassing. 
every single one of you is embarrassing. And when Mason Mount leaves, please get out with him. If you're going to complain and you're going to moan about it, get out with him. Because you lot have been biased since day one. Day one. So I don't care what happens. Don't care what happens. But wherever he goes, it is what it is. Goodbye to Mason. Goodbye to the stands. Goodbye to the simps. Goodbye to every single bit of that crap. I cannot wait. I will be there no matter what. No matter what. Kylian Mbappe meme vibes. You already know. Like, I'm fine with it. Hopefully we can use that money to get a Caicedo in. Or um, sort out our strikers. Because I know Oshiman's been put out for 130 million. We can use the money from Mason Mount, Conor Gallagher, or the likes of other players that we're going to get rid of to generate profit and help us out. And yeah, whatever happens to Mason Mount is whatever happens to Mason Mount. We haven't messed this up at all. All we have done is we have valued Mason Mount at a certain amount. He has done nothing to prove that he deserves to be on more money. And he's decided that he doesn't want to fight for his place. Leave! Your mentality is what's wrong with Chelsea Football Club. Your mentality and everything, all of it, is just wrong. So, couldn't care less. Goodbye to Mason Mount. And, yeah, thanks for 2021. Thanks for um, the run to the Champions League final. You did deserve that player of the year. I will give you that. I will give you that. And, yeah, bye-bye. Deuces. Peace. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. There isn't going to be a live stream tomorrow because I'm on my way to Manchester. But um, there will be a preview of Rants that we're going to upload in the morning. So check that out. Check out the stream as well on his Twitch, by the way. Because when the Mount Ornstein dagger dropped, my guy's smile dropped as well. And it was fucking hilarious, bruv. <laughs> he looks so dejected, bruv. It's unreal. Yeah, check it out, people. Like, subscribe. I am out. I'm going to the pub to celebrate this. Peace.